everyone. Thank you so much for checking out our new short film, Kid. Uh, it was made with zero budget. And uh, it was a lot of fun to make for the My Road Reel 2021 Film Festival. I hope you really enjoyed the film. And today is a super, super special day. So special, in fact, that I've curled my mustache. It is the time that I get to show you hands-on my project files for working on KID as a composer. Now, you're about to see very messy, very quick made, and very ugly FL Studio. So let's hop straight in. So here we are in the project. Down at the bottom right here is the uh, video so that you can see it at all times, hopefully at all times until I forget and then maybe not at all times. Basically, I'm going to run you through everything I did, how I laid out the track, all the things that I brought in um, and talk you through some of the packs, some of the techniques I've used, all that kind of good stuff. So let's start with the start. First sound you actually hear is from uh, Spitfire Labs, absolutely free instrument, as you're about to find out. A lot of these are free instruments just for the sake of using free instruments. Tape Orchestra is uh, a really great little pack where they just have these disgusting, disgusting sounds uh, of the orchestras from all their packs, uh, slowed down, distorted, crinkled with tape, and it just sounds awesome. Like, have a listen to this. Definitely, definitely, if you haven't got this pack downloaded, definitely check it out. There's so many good uh, little patches here. Loads of them. And that just kind of drifts underneath everything else that comes in. Um, so next that comes in is uh, an instance an instance of uh, Spitfire's intimate strings um, because it just comes out sounding great. I mean, you've got these lovely, lovely swells. Great, great sound. And so that kind of just flows over the track uh, as we are introduced to our central themes, uh, including our quotes, and then the missing children posters, which obviously, super secret behind the scenes, is of course pictures of us, the crew, as children. We thought we'd have a little fun there. Over the top of that is another very affordable uh, original sample from Spitfire called Firewood. Uh, the Firewood piano, which just kind of outlines the chords in a very like melancholy, steppy kind of way. So when you hear them playing it together, it's a very cinematic way of doing things. Actually, what, what's happening here with the strings is they're playing uh the third up an octave um and it, it just is such a classic way of using this lower end it happens all the time in brass i use it all the time in trombones but it sounds great when it's played with uh the strings uh kind of decked out like that so you would have in a real uh, orchestra setting, you would have your cello playing this line, your bass playing an octave below, and then your brighter instruments would be up higher. Um, but you get this kind of the very warm cinematic sound that comes from these big, wide spaced chords. We come to our first Easter egg. Uh, this is me just groaning into a microphone. with a load of distortion, and that kind of just plays and kind of makes this gross feeling. As we're introduced to the footprints, the goat footprints and the bike. And then things get very dissonant as our lead here, Simon, starts to really kind of get a little intense. So this is where we rise into the first kind of action sequence. And that's just a very heavy hit of just octaves on the piano. Big wide octaves. And you've got that horrible, horrible low octave where it hits you really kind of 
makes your back shiver a little bit. And I play with that throughout. Um, it's got that kind of tribalness in the, the you know, I, I'm, you know, co coming to like the themes of the, you know, the cult or the occult, I suppose, um, in the film. It, you, you've got this kind of like tribal rhythm. And that's very, very, very simple. That's literally all that's going on, I believe, other than a uh, cinematic pad that's just playing underneath Spitfire Originals again. A lot of the work is being done for me there by these great samples. All very affordable samples as well, I should say. You can see I've I've animated the dynamics there so that this pad kind of swells and moves. I really love these pads actually. Let me play you some. They're just so full of character, especially when you start kind of bringing this expression in with the uh, with the dynamics there and kind of letting them ring out and close up and love them, love them. Plenty of them to choose from as well. Plenty of them. And they're all great. So here's our first kind of horror movie riser. Um, as he reaches the top of the hill. So we have like a nice just single solo piano going bong. And then I bring in these kind of, this is actually like a brutally overused sample in Symphobia. You'll recognize it from everywhere. You, you can't watch an American TV show that's vaguely horror re related or even Kitchen Nightmares. It's everywhere. Um, and here's where it starts getting really interesting. So you have this, uh, this, uh, I have some really low octave strings, which are Albion one unbeatable, unbeatable sound. What a brutal, brutal, brutal sound. Um, so that's always great to throw in. If you ever want a little fat, lower, lower bit of bass there. Um, and then I've got these Pandora bursts, which admittedly, completely are just cheating. I can do my big hits with a full orchestra, with BBC SO, with any kind of orchestral pack. Again, check out Achilles. The ending of that track has the fattest one I think I've maybe ever made. Um, But sometimes you just want to cheat. Sometimes you just want something fun, easy. And Pandora Burst by Project Z Sam in the free orchestra is insanely good for this. Very, very brutal. Uh, and I love using that in these kind of contexts where you want to whip something up quite quick, quite cheap. Uh, that's the way to do it. So I'm automating the filter there as a kind of Wah! it opens up as we are revealed uh, the daughter floating atop the tower. And this is where things get real whack uh, because I actually automate the tempo to increase and go a little bit faster um, so that when we cut to this next shot, we're hit on the beat, and this is full-on action now. This isn't horror. The way that me and my co-director, Michael, uh, discussed this is that if the whole film is an action film, this would be your chase scene. You know, he's trying to get his daughter down from the top of the tower. If it were an action scene, uh, it would definitely be played up like a chase. And so the music kind of matches that with these, you know, the Tycho's continue in a much faster rhythm this time. And we also bring in these uh, these Colenio uh, strings, which are from Albion One, and that's just where uh, the string players will play with the uh, back of the bow or with a pencil, depending on how expensive the bow is, uh, to make this horrible slapping noise. 
And a classic technique, which I'm actually using here, you know, shamelessly, is just a single rising line against the same bass note. And so that's what I'm kind of doing here. And then we also have, of course, our low octaves on the uh, Albion 1 strings and our Pandora bursts going off with some filters underneath. And they gradually, you can see how I've animated it, they get kind of gradually open more and more each time. Uh, and that's especially relevant towards the end. And now's where it gets really fat, uh, full on action, I would say. You have these uh, kick drums. And then we also bring in these kind of slapping uh, military style drums. Over the top, so you get this kind of like counter, counter battling time uh, kind of thing where they're hitting three times. Uh, and the rest of the track is hitting four. And obviously the uh, kick drum is representing the heartbeat. I play with that quite a lot later on. Uh, this is also where some bass comes in and this is super dirty, simple bass work here. Uh, if you've never used FL Studio's Boo Bass, it's like horribly shite in every single way, except when you throw it through a load of effects. So mine is just thrown through uh, some really nice distortions. And it's just got that perfect amount of bite for me. We also have a uh, bass trombone here from BBC SO, which is just playing a kind of nothing to write home about, but an all right top line. Uh, and it's actually cut off again by the same sample from Symphobia uh, that came in earlier. It's it directly cuts it off. And I also have this. This is from the Wild Winds. This is also Symphobia as well. Um, Wild Winds uh, Project Sam. This horrible, horrible texture almost. It's not even a sound. It's a texture. That's playing underneath all of this sequence uh, just to make you really feel like crap. Then we get a nice fat wham right when the Goatman appears. Very spooky. And all of the uh, sounds that come in then, I kind of wanted to leave, I wanted to step myself back just to kind of punctuate all the sounds that come in. So there's the a really fat bass drop when he uh, does his stuff. There's bones cracking, there's all sorts. So I kind of take a step back, let that happen, and then come in with these kind of, you can see it animated here in the filter. The, the, the bwams, the, the standard kind of bwam is actually being filtered out. So it's just kind of going wah, wah. Like a like a duck or something, um, and that kind of gives some space for the sound design to do what it needs to do, while also you know kind of reminding everyone, hey, we're still here, we're still doing music in the background here. So here here is this scene with just absolutely no uh, no sound design, just the music. So that kind of, I take a step back so the sound can make a bigger impact and you have all those horrible <coughs> noises of all the celery breaking as the, uh, as the man's insides are unspecifiedly breaking. Of course, we're going to end with a big fat hit, which is cut off by a lovely little run there. Anyway, I hope this has been insightful. I've kind of banged on a little bit about uh, the composing process here. Um, I hope there was something useful in this video. 
and I hope you really enjoyed. Back to normal composing challenge next week. Um, it's been a little bit of a funny week, obviously, because of the release of this film. Don't want to overload YouTube with a load of stuff uh, and want to give the film a spotlight where I can. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will uh, see you in the next one. Yeah.